so I decided to do interviews with people and um, and then I decided to add wigs and masks and the people could choose the masks. So then there could be a sense of anonymity and maybe more freedom to talk. But what I interviewed them about was love and relationships, not so much sex, although sometimes they talked about sex also. Some of the hotels are simple or they're just plain and nice, mm. um, but I wanted the kind of strange ones. So this one's kind of a beach one. That's all me. Um, so I set up the camera and then combined it in Photoshop. Everyone just has a different idea of love and relationships and even sex. And um, it just makes everything seem more open and like there's so many variations. So when I got to China, it was my first time there. So I traveled around for two weeks by myself and had my I think, three or four cameras with me and shot lots of video and photographs. The sounds are from the video I shot. And then this was Chaochangdi where I did the residency. It's an art district in um, Beijing and the gallery was right here. And there's um, sounds of um, fireworks. Let's see. I was here during Chinese New Year, so it was, uh, it was pretty crazy. The best time for me is if when I'm traveling to a new place and walking around for the first time and experiencing everything. Um, yeah, the smells, the everything that I see, the people, the food, it's, um, it's what I really love to do. It's just experience it another place and different people. Sometimes I talk to people, sometimes I'm a bit shy, but depends on my, um, my mood. Mm -hmm. But um, I like to do both and just wander around, photograph, experience the place. It's always better if I know some people that live there so then I can get a deeper view. Mm -hmm. And then more recently I'm starting to do more interviews and getting deeper um, with my material. This is the Moise Bunker, which is in Steglitz in Berlin. And it was a research hospital um, with Charité. And then they moved. There was asbestos inside and they were going to tear it down. And there was a petition to save it. I saw the petition and the images and then I went there and knew I had to build it. So I built it. Um, it's not exact. I don't really care about something being exact. I just, I'm interested in older things more than new things because older things have history. There's like, you know, there's, same as people, you know, there's like, I don't know, wrinkles and, and you can see more on someone's face that's been around for a while. And I think it's the same with buildings. Like if you have a new shiny building, it's really not interesting to me at all. Um, I think, I. Th I think what interests me most are the people that are there. So if you cover up all the cracks and everything, it's, I don't know, it's just not so interesting. I kind of do see myself as a archiver or yeah, preserving a certain moment in time. Um, so a lot of places that I build, for instance, in Chongqing, that area Shabadi is now gone. So I didn't even realize it would be torn down, but, um, but you know, inadvertent, inadvertently, I, um, I preserved a moment that is no longer there. And now I'll seek out places sometimes. Like for instance, the Moise bunker, because it was going to possibly disappear. And it's such an interesting, amazing building. I feel kind of, compelled to capture it. And then once I do build it, I feel a certain ownership for the place. So in a way, I feel like I own a piece of this building. Those two apartment buildings, um, you know, I live within a block of both, so I constantly see them. And when I walk around in them, it's 
it's just a trip. It's like I'm walking in my sculptures in a way and I feel a certain ownership. And I also build mostly, not all the time, but mostly places I have some kind of love for. This is from Paris, Texas. So I did a, a exhibition about films that I love and this is one of them. This is in the beginning scene, um, they drive up and this is where um, Harry Dean Stanton's character was sitting. See, and then with, with the light off, it becomes moodier. And what I used to do was I would also photograph them out in the environment. I still do once in a while, but not as much, but then that places them in a place. With my work, because there's lights and video and sound, it like grabs someone and draws them in, and then there's layers of meaning within it that you know, they can either pick up on or they don't pick up on. This was in Oakland. Um, I went with a friend around midnight to shoot this old um, burger joint, and we met Harvey, and he kept saying, take my picture, so I started making this video and he talked to us for maybe half an hour or something. Um, but it's almost like a portrait of this place. After I made this piece and then I sold one of these, I went to try to find Harvey to give him, yeah, we gave him some money at the time and I went to try to find him to give him some from that, but we couldn't find him. In the US, there are so many strip clubs. Um, but then it's really interesting, like um, driving in the south, like in Nashville, different places like that, along the highway, there are like big strip clubs or porn shops. And then right next to it usually is a billboard about Jesus and there's a church right near it. So there's this combination of like, you know, sin and um, heaven. I made this, of course, during like the height of COVID. I returned to, I built motels, like 2002 was my first motel that I did. And then I did quite a few motels and I really liked this idea of like traveling and um, stories changing and dramas changing and people stay a few nights and what happened there. Um, and also the look of the motels and their the old ones are disappearing, and during COVID, I kind of returned to this idea of the motel. I think from being locked down, it felt like an escape in a way. And then this is called The Fall. This is about um, like a post-apocalyptic post time, like what happens after we destroy the environment. I feel like we kind of die away, but the, the environment will come back first. Um, so there's a, a McDonald's in the lake. I'm a voyeur in a way. Like, I'm really interested in what people do and if I would have had the view you had, I would have been looking probably too. I think with this, I make it so um, people can become voyeurs. It's like safe voyeurism in a way.